stay down on uh, tuna nachos. We don't want to see you again. Hey there everyone, it is a magical day today because today is another staycation day and I'm delighted to be able to share it with you. Today, we're at Animal Kingdom Lodge Jumbo House. Today is another one day staycation thanks to my friends Troy and Wendy who again had DVC points. They were expiring, they were gone. There was no more chances to use them and they said, Michael, we wanna see you enjoy those points. Again, Troy and Wendy cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. I'm already loving it. Now today started like many Florida days, pouring rain, as you would imagine. We're in our room now, gotta love it, this studio room in. <laughs> the exciting part is we're actually on the sixth floor of Jumbo House. I need my mask, but if you know what that means, you know it's special. The sixth floor of the Jumbo House is special because this is actually the Kilimanjaro Club area. This is for Disney Vacation Club guests who also are looking for that concierge experience. I do not remember the last time I stayed concierge, but I gotta tell you, I, I love it. I love being up here, that's, that's a big piece of it, but the concierge piece that kind of goes with it is not really happening right now. During standard times here at Disney, this part of the Kilimanjaro Club is where they actually serve the food that you get throughout the day. Because times are a little bit different now, we don't have the food here. There's the Nespresso machine that you would be able to use during standard times. Right now, we don't have access to it, but in the future, we would. That's the idea. So it's really great to actually be up here and show it to you. You get these great views right there of the lobby, a little bit of the savanna out there, really like that. And you get to kind of enjoy it as you just relax on that vacation. We're in room 6401, which is a deluxe studio here at Jumbo House. As you walk in, there's the door. There's the conjoining door for the other room. Full length mirror on the right hand side there. Hi, you continue on. And on the left hand side, we've got the kitchenette. You've got your refrigerator, microwave, toaster, coffee machine, sink, coffee, all the things you'll need. This way, we've got our bathroom with two sinks there, vanity mirror, large mirror, love these lights. Then you move into this area, toilet, and the shower bath right there. Moving out of the bathroom, bed on the right-hand side. There it is. Look at that uh, background behind it. I love that. You can see there's a map of Africa. To our left, you can see there's a, a stool there that I believe has storage. Oh, it's this way. <laughs> there's the storage. Just like that. And then this very, very large closet, which includes an extra pillow, your luggage rack, an ironing board, an iron like that, and a safe up there. We've also got a hair dryer in there. Next to the bed, we've got a night table, your remote for the TV, little booklet there. There's your bed that folds out so you can uh, have other guests with you, maybe more of your family in the room with you, your stools there. There's your TV showing some of the things that are happening at Animal Kingdom Lodge and some of your dressers here for you to store some of your belongings. Continuing on, we've got our desk and two chairs there along with another mirror over there. And then we've got our amazing view. This view is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. You've got your two chairs. There's a chair there, table there, and a chair right down there. And then this view, look at this. We can actually see the roof of Jumbo House right here. We technically could touch it. I'm not going to, but you can see you could touch it standing right here on the balcony. You've got views of the roof of uh, more of Jumbo House, the walk to the Mara, which would be down there, and then the pool, which you know we'll be enjoying. The rain is letting up now, so we're gonna be doing that before you know it. Now, I know we just got here, but I haven't eaten anything today, and it's almost time for lunch, so we're actually going to head on over to Kidani Village. We could drive, and maybe we will drive, but we can also take the shuttle. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. Let's head on out there. Now, we've enjoyed bread service at Sanaa here at Kidani Village many, many times. Always love it. Today, I want to try something new. We're staying here. I'm going to go to the Maji Pool Bar here at Kidani and uh, try this very special coffee barbecue burger sandwich. We're gonna try it. That was likely the fastest service I have ever received anywhere. I, I ordered, I finished, I signed the receipt and the food was already ready. <laughs> Must have been just saying ready to go. But we've got the very special Kenyan coffee sandwich here, pulled pork sandwich. Looks really good, looking forward to trying it. In addition, I've also got another one of those uh, lava smoothies. I tried it at the Grand Floridian. I loved it so much. I wanna see if it continues to be great. You told me about it. I was like, all right, I gotta try this again. I'm gonna see if it continues to be great here at Kidani Village. Yeah, that lava smoothie is super good, highly recommended. Not as good as the Grand though. It's probably a different recipe. So yeah, Grand Floridian for that lava smoothie. Okay, time to try the sandwich together. You ready? Bon appetit. For a quick service pool bar sandwich, I gotta tell you, that is pretty good. A Little bit of the barbecue sauce in there, not as much, more of the, the Kenyan coffee flavor that you get throughout. Tiny, super small kick at the end of that sandwich. 
Great pork flavor, it's really tender. Good flavor, I like it, I really do. It definitely is unique here at Disney. You think about the different unique things you can get. If you're really interested in pulled pork, a little bit of a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of coffee flavor, then I can recommend it. Just, you know, passing by, nothing I'd go out of my way for, but passing by, really good. Great lunch here at Maji Pool Bar. Now let's head on back to, back at Jumbo House. And now where we're going to <laughs> switch into pool gear and hop in the pool. For reference, when you're staying at Kilimanjaro Club Concierge level here at Jumbo House, you actually have to use your magic band or card to go to the Kilimanjaro Club. It's actually like locked access, so only those who are staying concierge can access this floor. It's pool time, here we go. This incredible lobby never ceases to amaze me. Walking across the bridge, the fireplace is lit when it's cold around, not that cold right now. And then there's an overlook that you can look at and we can go out on the savannah. I'm actually, I'm seeing animals out there. So let's, let's do that first. Looks like it's feeding time for our pelican friends. I almost caught that one, almost caught it. But sure enough, the uh, keeper there is throwing what looks like small fish into the water for them to, up. Oh, caught that one. Wow, that was good. And that, oh, he threw, oh, he caught that one. My gosh, these are they're good catch, wow. to experience the savannah. Look at that giraffe. Oh, hey, I'm sorry. Don't mean to disturb you. Good to see you. Hi. Oh, that's so cool. Look at him. Right over there, we're just watching him walk around. He's drinking some water there. And there's uh, all sorts of other animals, like the water buck and several others that I've seen. So, so magical. That's, uh, this is the big reason to stay at Jumbo House or Kidani Village, anywhere Animal Kingdom Lodge. It's the savannah, that, that's what it's all about. It's so fascinating to watch the pelicans prune themselves or dry themselves. As you see their uh, beaks kind of clapping together there as they kind of uh, make sure that all their feathers are in alignment and dry. It's so great, they're all kind of doing the same thing. In addition to seeing the animals on the savannah at ground level, kind of ground level, where you can also see them from these viewing areas right up here. Now, Kidani Village also has viewing areas. They're just very, they're just different unique in their own way. For this one, I really like seeing the pelicans, especially at ground level, but overall, I actually prefer the Kidani Village views. That's me, I feel like you, uh, the views, especially from these viewing platforms, a little bit easier. Here, we're kind of behind some camouflage. Easier for the animals to kind of not see us, but uh, you can definitely see some good ones from here. Walking through the lobby here, I love all the metal work that you can see in the ground, kind of laid in there. You can see this is actually like birds standing on elephants, standing on a <laughs> very, very, <laughs> Or it's either alligator or crocodile. I think that's, I think it's an alligator. I don't know. But you can see there's a, there's quite a bit of I don't know meaning behind this one. And there's even fish. Wait a minute. There's fish on top of the birds' backs. To me, this is almost like the circle of life. It, I know it doesn't really make sense to think about it that way, but you, I don't know. The 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 animals rely on each other. You know, it's an important it's an important cycle. That's, that's the message I'm getting behind this one. Now this one's very interesting. There's some kind of lizard or maybe iguana, some, some amphibian, surrounded by, it looks, looks like drums and bells and instruments. And then around them, you can actually see humans dancing, playing, having fun, laughing, enjoying life. I'm not sure the meaning behind this one. Maybe the fact that, I don't know, we, we, all, we all come from like a singular and then find joy in our own ways. I don't know, I was, I'm just trying to find meaning out of all the imagery 
I'm seeing throughout the lobby. Now, when we saw that first viewing area, you might say, okay, is that the only viewing area here at Jumbo? Sure enough, it's not. You go into the library area, there's more to see. Take a look, a whole different savanna view with more of those animals. Not sure what their names are, but you can see they're hanging out and I believe right over there, that's where they go at the end of the night to kind of sleep. But they're grazing right now and they love kind of hanging out from all these different rooms, you can see the different views of the savanna. Now, this is the library here at Jumbo House. A little different than the library at uh, Kidani Village. But there's a lot to see here. Now, this is definitely some kind of sprayer here, maybe to, I don't know, fertilize crops or perhaps protect bees as they're trying to get some honey from the beehive. There's a very large sword here. And then we've got a uh, super old American handmade pistol. Interesting books here in the library. I Married Adventure. <laughs> you can see these binoculars and hats and even uh, clocks there for when you're out on the savanna. I love all the areas to sit back and relax here at Jumbo House. You're just chilling out, having a great time, discussing the next adventure. So great. All along the walls of the library, you'll actually see some images from Africa where they're you know, kind of showing you maybe the people or some tents there. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> this is, that's so cute. Look at this. this it's a camera that someone was taking that little monkey kind of grabbed on. That's so cute. And then you got some explorers out there. And this, look at the shot, you know, taken right there of the zebras. Love that. And then over here, tough to tell what that is. It looks like maybe a horse. And then a family may be traveling, and you can actually see a small child in the back kind of being carried by that horse. Wow, that is amazing. Take a look at this one. Maybe they're giving their camels water, and they have to go down that ladder in order to get the water for their camels. Wow. It's now almost 5 o'clock, and I don't have a reservation for Sanaa, but they do have a walk-up list, and it says unavailable until it's open. So my plan is to head on over there. It's, I think it's like almost, it's 4.53, and then see if there's like a walk-up list that just opens as soon as the restaurant opens, so we can go in there and try something. Of course, I'm thinking about bread service. Will that happen? To be decided. I'm at Kadani Village now. It says five minutes for the walk up, but then I click join walk up list and it says currently unavailable, or it did a moment ago, it's still loading, but it said currently unavailable, so maybe they're having a an issue with the walk up list. I think we're gonna head in there. Yep, currently unavailable. Uh, and see if we can't figure that out. Let's go in there. Very kind cast member at the desk. I was telling him what happened. I said, I was sitting there in the parking lot ready. And it said five minutes and I clicked it and he said, un it said unavailable. And he said, it's because there were so many other people who were doing the exact same thing. That is how popular Sanaa has gotten. So they are totally booked up. They don't have any free tables for at least an hour and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead, make my way over to Animal Kingdom instead. And we'll grab dinner there. Now, as I'm thinking about dinner, favorite spot, Animal Kingdom for food, just right out there, Yak and Yeti. It is every single time. So we're gonna walk on by, see if we can get a table. If not, there are plenty of other options. In case I haven't mentioned it before, I did get the uh, Landry Select Club membership. I, I, I may be wrong on this, $25 a year, then you get a $25 gift on your birthday, and then you get points, but it works for T-Rex, it works for Rainforest Cafe, and it works for Yak and Yeti. It's worth it, in my opinion. Thanks to the suggestions by my fantastic server, Jock. I was thinking about the soup, and then the salad, and then we got back to ahi tuna nachos. Not sure how we got there from Super Town, but we did. And he's like, it's got some greens in there. I'm like, yeah, that's true. So we're gonna get that. Uh, I love it. It's always great. Can't go wrong here at Yak and Yeti. Sure enough, it has arrived already. Ahi tuna nachos piled up on the plate. Looks absolutely outstanding. Gonna sanitize and enjoy it with you. Ready? Here we go. I gotta tell you, maybe it's something unique. Maybe it's just me. I don't know, but the flavor, the the sauce that comes with it. I gotta look at that name of the sauce. The sauce that comes with it. With the ahi tuna today is especially good. Especially good. It's like a spicy mayo and they got a lot of greens on there. Oh my gosh, so much to love. It's the sweet soy glaze. That's what it is. The sweet soy glaze with that ahi tuna. Yeah, that is, that's outstanding. One that I recommend. I'd go out of my way for this one. Still miss the dragon roll bowl and I did ask to see if I had it back. They do not. Still hoping they bring it back one day. One of my favorites of all time. And that's an all time winner. But uh, this is also good. Absolutely fantastic as always. Problem is I always leave feeling super full. After a big dinner at Yak and Yeti, it's had the expedition ever, well, maybe not. It says 20 minutes, and the line actually looks longer than 20 minutes, so this may be a good way for me to digest all the food. If I still feel full by the time we get there, 
I may not do it. The Yeti has welcomed me, so I, I, we got a ride. For, for the Yeti to give me a personal welcome, we definitely have a ride. Feeling good now. We're in good shape. It's gonna be great. We're near the back of the train here. It's gonna be fun. I love seeing the tree of life at night there. It's awesome. Stay down, uh, he tuna nachos. We don't want to see you again. the best rides at Disney right there. Everest accomplished, <laughs> Nacho still, still holding down. That's good, that's a good thing. I love that attraction, day or night. It is one of the best attractions at Walt Disney World, without question. Without question. Fantastic way to end the night here at Animal Kingdom. Now we're just going right down the road to Jumbo House to fall asleep with those Savannah dreams. And just like that, our magical day has come to an end. Thanks so much for sharing in it with me. It was so much fun sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a magical day.